the Good day, the YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Rhino Manchild Beer. This is from the Spearhead Brewing Company from Toronto, okay. Ontario, Canada. Six percent alcohol, sixty IBU. This is their Hawaiian nice. style pale ale, which is a pale ale with pineapple juice. Wow, <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Uh, we've reviewed this at the Toronto Festival of Beer, but we've never had it bottled, so we had it on on draft. So here we go, actually trying a bottle of it. Spearhead. <laughs> That's German for crush your enemies. What is it? <laughs> what are you wunderkind back there? Oh, it smells nice. The bitter smell with the with the pineapple. The pineapple goes together well. Yeah, very nice looking. Very. Very hazy, unfiltered. Really? West uh, Coast Pale Ale, brewed Hawaiian style. <laughs> unfiltered, dry hopped. Dynamite. <laughs> Made in Toronto. <laughs> so what is that? Brewed Hawaiian style. There is lots of hops in there. You can smell them. They're hitting you in the face. It smells like there's some citrus. Ah, uh, citra. Citrus, citra hops. Smells like some citra hops. Smells like some cascade hops. You can get a little bit of the, uh, you can get a little bit of the pineapple scent. Beer without boundaries. I like how the Smell, smells good. I like how the bitter smell goes with the pineapple. Let's try her. Another nice sweet pineapple and bitterness for some unknown reason. It's pretty good. You know, didn't like this. What? Hugo doesn't like beer though. Hugo does like beer, but he's an Englishman, so he really only drinks lager. You know what? We're definitely warm lager. <laughs> that. Yeah, warm lager. With blood pudding. Oh. That's right. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't like blood pudding, probably. This is good stuff. Hell I'm actually, yeah! I'm actually quite fond of this. It's refreshing. It's Very a nice. refreshing hops. Well, there's citra hop in there. There is an, another grapefruity hop in there because you're getting the yeah. tropical fruits and you're getting grapefruit. Uh, it's mixing really nicely with the pineapple juice. Uh, nice malt, ni nice malt characteristics up at the forefront. Very nice, well-rounded beer. Again, 60 IBU. You, you, you can tell it's bitter, but it's not that bad. I like how the beer bottle is ripped for her pleasure. See, this is... <laughs> <laughs> or his. Or his. Or his. <laughs> I talked about this on, on one of my JTV feeds when it was just me talking, sitting down here. Now, when we interviewed with these guys, they're, they're a contract brewer, right? <laughs> Okay, so they're mercenary brewers. <laughs> yeah, they contract brew, so part of the part of it is whatever profits they make, part of that profit has to go on to the company they brew for. Brew yeah. at. But they want to make enough money to open up their own brewery. Well, you could make a lot more money if you didn't have specially designed bottles. Like they look nice, but this should have waited until you had your own brewery. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, because they got their own bottles, like ribbed for her pleasure bottle. Yeah, and, and they're a contract brewer. Yeah. But, That's part of the selling point. Maybe it vibrates. Maybe if you like put it in and go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree. One hundred percent. Lisa, turn off the feet. <laughs> but I like it. I'd give it a. I'd easily give it an eight two five. I would buy it again. I would drink it again. I just never see it down here. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. This is. I'm only gonna give it an eight. But I, I like it, and, and I'm not as much as Chad apparently, but uh, it, it's good. But um, yeah, yeah, go for it. I would, I would, I would buy this again, but oh, what do you think, Timmy? That is delicious. It's a refreshing IPA. Is it down the red dog. Nothing will wash down the red bag. That was a fucking beer de force, sir. Thank you, YouTube. That isn't bad, actually. Bye.